I believe the role of immunotherapy in cancer treatment is uh, as significant as when we first developed chemotherapy drugs. Um, immunotherapy is a fairly recent phenomenon uh, or study. Uh, over the last 10 years, we have developed this ability to use the patient's immune system to attack cancer cells. And current evidence has been so promising that we will be able to probably use uh, both chemotherapy and immunotherapy to get the most um, impact for patients and have the, the best response. Defense system employ T cells to fight many diseases, including cancer. Uh, one way T cell activity is controlled is through immune checkpoint PD-1 and pd one pathway. The binding of PD-1 on activated T cells to pd one on target cell inhibit T cell mediated killing. Now, some tumor cells smart enough to acquire pd one expression on their surface and therefore escaped T cell mediated killing. Now, immunotherapy employed um, monoclonal antibody that block the PD-1 or PD-L1 will restore the T cell immediate killing. And I've shown significant anti-tumor effect in various tumors. For immunotherapy to be more effective and for the oncologist to make informed clinical decisions, all the patients considered for immunotherapy are encouraged to take PDL1 test on their tumor tissues using uh, FDA approved assays. Our laboratories uh, at San Juan Capistrano, California and Chantilly, Virginia receive specimens which are processed there and the results are reported within three to five days by board certified pathologists. The advantage of being one of the first labs to actually be able to use the PDL1 immunohistochemical stain once it was available. Um, and that's allowed us to have uh, more experience, be able to analyze more tumors, able to understand the subtleties of the immunohistochemical stain and provide the most accurate results and reproducible results. And that's important because there's treatment decisions being made based on those findings. And that's something that the competitors just don't have. Interesting about immunotherapy is, is that it has led to a whole new frontier in terms of the partnership between pharmaceutical companies that are developing the immunotherapies. And during their trials, they were evaluating tumor expression of PDL1. And that has now developed into a, a companion diagnostic test, for instance, with the use of uh, Keytruda um, uh, and its PDL1 immunohistochemical stain. And that's something new that is new to the field where we, as pathologists, and at Quest, we are forming a tighter bond with our treating physicians, our oncologists, and the use of a certain medication in a, in a way in which we have never done before. Over the years now that we've been doing PDL1, I've been hearing success stories from our oncologists and some of their patients. There was a patient with metastatic melanoma widely throughout the body, was one of the first patients to receive immunotherapy about five years ago, and they've been disease-free since, since then. And um, those types of results really show you the power of immunotherapy and also the PDL1 immunohistochemical stain in conjunction with that. And it really just shows that we are turning the corner on cancer treatment and um, we're giving patients a second chance at life.